Hi, my name is Kristen Berger and I am currently a freshman at the University of Arkansas. I am standing in front of a beautiful chapel hidden among the forests of Bella Vista, Arkansas. It overlooks Lake Norwood and is situated among the Ozarks Rolling Hills. The name of this building is the Mildred B. Cooper Memorial Chapel. E. Faye Jones, a renowned Arkansas architect, designed it in 1991. Jones was known for his transcendental creations of wood, including the Thorn Crown Chapel in Eureka Springs, Arkansas. He was the first dean of the University of Arkansas School of Architecture and was awarded the AIA Gold Medal in 1990. This award is the highest honor given by the American Institute of Architects. Morris Jennings, partner of Jones for 25 years, was also involved in the design of Mildred B. Cooper Memorial Chapel. John A. Cooper, founder of Cooper Communities, commissioned the construction of the chapel. It was built in honor of his wife, Mildred, to celebrate her life, spirituality, and dedication to God's creation. Mrs. Cooper is remembered as being a loving wife and mother that made many contributions to the community. Her family intended the chapel to be a place where visitors could receive peace and inspiration. As a memorial, the architecture can be interpreted in terms of the biographical approach to art. Although the chapel is not a manifestation of the architect's lives, Jones and Jennings created it to be a re reflection of the life of Mrs. Cooper. The building's location and aesthetics allude to her personality and values. Its detachment from the rest of the world and its spiritual aura emphasized Mrs. Cooper's Christianity and love for nature. She was the president of the United Methodist Women's Organizations in West Memphis and Cherokee Village. She also organized two Girl Scout troops and spent a lot of time outdoors, particularly with gardening. The various trails surrounding the chapel are representative of Mrs. Cooper's time spent scouting in Tennessee. There is a distinct Gothic influence displayed by the chapel. This influence is particularly seen in the superb pointed arches. The arches are elegantly layered with alternating points on top of one another, blending together harmoniously. At the top of the chapel is a circular window, which may be seen as an allusion to the rose window that was characteristic of most Gothic cathedrals. Another similarity to Gothic architecture is the emphasis on verticality and loftiness. The nave is very open and airy, and a significant amount of light illuminates the chapel through its windows. The importance of light in creating the aesthetic appeal of the chapel could be seen as a way to express God's presence. Although the chapel reaches more than 50 feet in height, its scale is much smaller than that of true Gothic cathedrals. This reduced scale may allow the building to blend in with the environment more and make the chapel easier for people to connect with. There is also an absence of the blunt Christian iconography that was prominent in Gothic architecture. Instead, an essence of spirituality is developed through the use of light, the intimate scale, and the isolation of the chapel in its natural environment. This allows more people to appreciate the beauty of the chapel. Characteristics of organic architecture are also evident in the aesthetics of the chapel. E. Faye Jones was a student of Frank Lloyd Wright, one of the primary developers of organic architecture. The usage of Wright's principles is shown by how the chapel's design is incorporated into the natural environment. It is completely enveloped by the forest. Its harmony with the environment gives the impression that the chapel emerged from the forest itself. It both complements and adapts to its surroundings. The large glass windows allow every season and all times of day to be experienced inside Mildred B. Memorial. Another characteristic of the chapel that is distinctly organic is its simplicity. The way the lines and the arches effortlessly blend together is breathtaking. Intricate patterns are not needed to create beauty. The materials of the chapel are also inherent to its quality. By using wood, the building can be seen as a reinterpretation of the forest rather than as an imposed structure. The meandering trails that surround the chapel enhance its organic qualities. You must approach Mildred B. Cooper by walking on a trail through the woods. By the time you reach it, you feel detached from the world and already enveloped by nature. The quietness of the woods provides a place to relax and appreciate the landscape. Due to the chapel setting, many visitors claim that it allows them to feel spiritually connected to God. Regardless of one's religious beliefs, the serenity of the chapel makes it a wonderful place for personal reflection, communion with nature, and relaxation. I chose this piece because I really enjoy learning about works of architecture. I love its unique combination of the organic and gothic styles and the way that it blends in with the environment. I also enjoy hiking, so the trails surrounding the chapel were appealing to me as well. Overall, it is a beautiful building found in a beautiful natural location.